Arthropods are a group of invertebrates, which means they've all got no backbone present. All arthropods also have segmented bodies as well as jointed legs. And by jointed legs, we just mean those sort of knee, sort of elbow type parts to their legs. And they've also all got a hard exoskeleton. There are four main groups of them. The first one that we'll look at is the insects. Now the insects have got three body segments and that is the head, the thorax and the abdomen. And all insects have got one pair of antennae. In addition, they've all got three pairs of legs and they've also all got wings. However, in some of them, they might shed their wings and so you might often see insects that don't have them. Next up is the arachnids. Now these have got bodies that are split into two segments, the cephalothorax and the abdomen. They've also got something on top called the pedipalps. Now the reason we're pointing these out is that they look a little bit like antennae but they are not. One of the things that separates arachnids from insects is that they don't have antennae. All arachnids have got four pairs of legs but they've got no wings. Crustaceans, just like insects, have got bodies divided into the same three segments, the head, thorax, and the abdomen. Though in some species like crabs, the head and thorax have been fused into one cephalothorax. Crustaceans have got two pairs of antennae. They've all got more than four pairs of legs, but they don't have wings. Lastly is the myriapods, and this is the centipedes and the millipedes. Myriapods have got their body divided into many different segments and they've got one pair of legs per segment, except for the head of course, and they've also got antennae but no wings. (laughs) 